70 years ago, the space shuttle Buran, a multi-billion dollar Soviet project, was launched to complete its first and only orbit flight. But only a few years later, with the collapse of the Soviet Union, the program was altered, halted. And uh, now Russian and American scientists are looking at ways to bring Buran back to life to replace the space shuttle, which is due to retirement in 2010. Artis Yegor Piskunov has the story. It was the Soviet Union's answer to the U.S. space shuttle program. On November 15, 1988, the Buran spaceship was lifted out of the atmosphere by the specially designed Energia Booster rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. It was done on time. It was done with quality. The USSR surpassed the Americans in technology. US shuttles can only be landed by a human, while Buran lands fully automatically. Magomed Talboev was one of the pilots who carried out a test flight of the shuttle without going into orbit. He said the Soviet authorities had high hopes for this multi-billion dollar spacecraft. Until then, some of the missions they had planned were the stuff of science fiction. The Energia Buran program was started to get the capability to attack the United States, just like the shuttle was able to attack the USSR. We also wanted to take the Skylab space station from orbit. Buran was supposed to put it in its cargo bay and deliver it back to Earth for studies. But before some of these plans could be realized, the project was scrapped, along with the Soviet regime. The Energia Buran was one of the Soviet Union's last super projects. With billions invested, it took more than a million and a half people to design and build it. Nevertheless, Buran went into orbit only once before the collapse of the USSR. Twenty years after the launch, this model in Moscow's Gorky Park behind me is one of the few reminders of the Soviet space shuttle's tragic story. This is what happened to the only Buran that went into space. After spending more than a decade in a hangar, it was destroyed when a roof collapsed at Baikonur Cosmodrome in 2002. Even though the program ended, not all the ideas from it were left buried. Some of the technologies developed for Buran are now used in everyday life. Several heat-resistant materials, which are even used to make deep fryers, are the direct result of the research done during Buran's development. Technologies used for Buran may return to the space industry as well. Because of U.S. plans to stop using the space shuttle soon, some American and Russian scientists are now beginning to think of ways to revive the Buran program rather than developing an entirely new spacecraft from scratch. Igor Peskunov, RT, 